Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how you doing? Okay, more of these photographs. <laughs> the never-ending pile of photographs supplied by the lovely Bonnie and Clive. Um, I thought I would do something a little bit different with them today. Um, I have not sprayed these ones with anything. Um, my plan is to hit them with a piece of sandpaper and see what happens. Now, again, I'm doing this on camera. I have not done this before. This is something that I am just trying out. Um, I have seen people do this with magazine paper before, but again, I've never done that myself either. So <laughs> I'm hoping it works. <laughs> I'm going to put a stencil down and put the photograph on top, and then I'm just going to sand it back and see what happens. Um, yeah. Hopefully it leaves a sort of impression of the um, the stencil behind and um, makes the photo pretty much unrecognisable. That's, that's my plan. Um, not to rub it so much that I go through, but to rub it enough so that you can't tell it's a photograph of anything in particular. So that's what I'm going to do with both of these and then um, what I'm going to do with them then I don't really know I haven't got a plan I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of things to do with old photos <laughs> Well, I guess that worked. Um, <laughs> it worked well enough that you can't tell what it is, and that's the main thing. Uh, that's basically what I was trying to achieve. So, um, yeah, I'll do this second one, and then we'll go from there and see what we can make out of them. I will warn you, one thing it does make is a lot of dust. Um, yeah, this is a very dusty process. It doesn't seem to fly around too much. It's all sitting on the stencil and my desk here. Um, I'm just going to grab some wipes and um, wipe that off and I'll wipe down each of the um, photographs before we go any further. But yeah, she's a dusty, dusty thing. Yeah, if you are prone to struggle with dust, a mask may be a good idea there. Now, um, I don't know where I'm going with these, so I'm going to ink them. Um, just to see how that goes. And um, yeah, it seems to take quite well. You could literally leave them here. They're interesting. Um, I am, of course, not going to leave them here because more is more. So... <laughs> I feel I need to do other things with them. They're a bit floppy anyway, um, particularly after I've sort of wiped them down. They're a bit damp, I guess. But yeah, they're, they're a little bit floppy for you know, anything much. Um, I decided I wanted to make journal cards out of them because the backs are blank. So um, yeah, I decided I'm going to stick stuff to the front just to stiffen them up a bit. So Probably inking them up was not a necessary step, but it's interesting to see how they took the ink. They took it very, very well indeed. So I'm going to pull out some bits and pieces and, um, yeah, get decorating on these. And in the end, we will have a couple of um, nice journal cards just to pop in a journal. That's my idea.
Now, because these have been completely roughed up with the um, sandpaper, I have no concern about the glue not sticking um, paper to them. Uh, that's, there's no way that's going to come off. So, yeah, they're. Um, I think they're going to be fairly easy to glue to whatever you would like to glue them to. Um, I'm going to try and tear this, which is going to be a complete disaster. I should have just cut it with scissors to begin with. This stuff does not tear well. It does in one direction, but the other direction it's just not interested in doing as it's asked. So um, I know this, of course. It's not like I've never used it before, but <laughs> you live in hope, I guess. I don't know. I just wanted it to look sort of a bit more rustic, but I end up cutting it around with scissors anyway because, yeah, it just doesn't want to play the game, really. Right, um, I decided that the backs are a bit boring. Um, I'm just going to put a stamp on them, just so that um, yeah, something to look at. So, yeah. Um, also, on this um, ink pad, I did ask for advice the other day, and a lovely lady suggested that um, I purchase some ink refresher, um, and that might help out. Um, Unfortunately, I have contacted Ranger since and they say that um, the ink refresher is not compatible with any archival ink formation. Um, so yeah, uh, that's not going to work for this particular ink. It's for water-based ink only. Um, the archival inks, basically you need to um, yeah, refill them or buy a new ink pad. So they're your choices. Um, yeah, so I haven't um, gone and bought the range of product because I'm not really having any issues with my water-based ink, unfortunately. <laughs> well, fortunately. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's the archival ink that I'm struggling with. So, yes, that's uh, a piece of advice I did receive. And thank you so very much for reaching out and trying to help. So, a bit of information for you all. A ink refresher should not be used with your archival inks.
Okay, guys, well, I'm going to finish this one up and then I will show them both to you. And um, I think they look quite cool in the end. Um, possibly I did not need to take make all the steps of rubbing them back if I was going to do all this to them. But um, in the beginning, I didn't know I was going to do all of this. So, um, <laughs> yeah, at least now we know you can rub back a photo with some um, sandpaper and at least it's usable just as it is it's unrecognizable as a photograph so um these will go into a journal at some stage as journal cards and uh, i think they look kind of cool so <laughs> all right guys thanks for being here with me today i've enjoyed your company as i always do and i will see you again next time bye